winner, they get a date with the Celtics. Boston's had some major success against both of these teams, winning all six games against Miami and Chicago this year. But Stephen A, the moratorium is lifted now. We can talk about the Boston Celtics because we have said all season long, this is a team that proves it in the playoffs. Well, the playoffs are here. So what is the biggest obstacle to the Celtics achieving their goal? And New York Knicks is the biggest obstacle to the Boston Celtics. Let us be clear. When you look at the New York Knicks and what they're bringing to the table, we know that Boston is the superior team. We understand that Boston is the favorites as well. They should be. But Boston has a tendency to get in their own way. They might choose to jack up too many threes. They might play undisciplined basketball. We saw back-to-back -back losses in very convincing fashion, I might add, to Milwaukee and the New York Knicks very late in the season before they got their ducks in order in the last couple of games or so. We've seen sporadicness from them from time to time, even when they've won. One, we've seen them. Kendrick Perkins has pointed out not doing the kind of things they're mm -hmm. supposed to do to win the way they're supposed to, to win. Who is capable of disrupting you more than anybody else <laughs> in the Eastern Conference? It would happen to be Tom Thibodeau's New York Knicks. That's the answer to that question. Very, very simple question, by the way. Thank you very much. As bad as I want to agree with you, I can't. The biggest obstacle for the Boston Celtics is the Boston Celtics. Amen. Right, and we talk about them getting in their own way. When you look at the Eastern Conference, you look at the bigs, okay? Joel Embiid, not 100%. Uh, Bam out of bio, he's probably getting sent home today. Giannis is not healthy. Can Christoph Przingis be the most dominant player in the Eastern Conference? Can he hold up for four seven-game series? He's number one in the league right now in post-ups, right? And his ability to be able to stretch the floor, provide the spacing for Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown to go to work. On the defensive side of things, can he hold up again for four seven-game series and anchor the middle, especially if they have to go against Jokic in the finals? Is he going to be available? Is he going to be playing at an elite level? That's going to be the obstacle, and that's what I'm looking at. I'm going to agree with Kendrick about they can't get out of their own way. This is I'm sensing a theme to it. It is. Yeah, no, we just, it's a tag team against Stephen A. No, but seriously, scar tissue, mm. Boston's own. You know, are they going to be able to break through this, these, I don't want to say failures, but they've come up short in several critical situations. Yes, they did that in the championship series once against Golden State. Right. At a critical game at home, they lost to the Warriors and couldn't finish that series. We've seen it in the conference championships several times. And look, the, the pressure, the most pressure to me, the player under the most pressure is Jason Tatum. I mean, Tatum and Brown, these guys are going to be in a minute and a half, $600 million worth of tag team. Right. Okay? What stands in their way? Maybe only one other thing. Maybe there's not enough of a test in the East to get them ready. The Denver Nuggets will have gone through murderer's row to get to the right. finals. If they get there, the Boston Celtics, not so much. Well, because Giannis is hurt, as you mentioned. Jimmy is hurt. The second round is going to be against the Cavs and the Magic. And then, Stephen A., your Knicks stand mightily in the way there That's with right. Joel Embiid hurt. So, if the Boston Celtics don't get to the NBA Finals as 14 games better, 14 wins better than anybody else in the conference, is that an abject failure? That's an abject failure. No question about it. There's no way around that. You don't get to the finals. You're the Boston Celtics. This team. Now we. You're now we. That's an absolute failure. All There's no other. getting around that. But let me Gotta be very that. clear. I don't disagree with Kendrick Perkins or Michael Wilbon when they're talking about Boston getting in their own way or Denver being that biggest obstacle out west, you get to the finals. I'm talking about before you get to the finals. That's why I brought <laughs> to the New York Knicks. I'm talking about potential derailment in that regard. Fair. And I didn't sit up there and just point out the New York Knicks. I said the New York Knicks as a disruptive force to compel you to get in your own way, which is somewhat vibing with the both of them. So in this particular instance, their wisdom shines. They didn't completely disagree with me. They just worded it differently because that's how they want to do it. For some reason, everyone has been mis- Quoting you. I tell me about it. Ain't that my apology today. My yeah, apology. I mean, damn, damn. I'm all yeah. over the damn place. <laughs> Everybody must be misquoted, misrepresented. <laughs> that I mean, but that's how it is. That when you special, that's what they do. They misquote you. <laughs> well, I do that's know. They, they, they misquote you because you get clickbait. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm the king of being misquoted these days. I like it.